Enjoy your stay. Welcome to L.A. I sit alone in my four-cornered room, staring at candles. Who got me? Real radio, dude? Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll pick this here. At night, I can't sleep. I toss and turn. Candlesticks in the dark. Visions of bodies being burned. Four walls closing in, getting bigger. I'm paranoid, sleeping with my finger on the trigger. My mother's always stressing I ain't living right. All right. Oh. All right. What you got there? Oh, man. This is some good Louisiana fried chicken here, but I'm gonna eat the chicken. Cause the chicken, I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna send all these bones left over to the sheriff's department, right? Because now they're not protecting people. They into moving cadavers and remains. So they trying to put the coroner out of business, right? So by me playing Santa Claus and mailing them all these bones for Christmas, they're gonna have enough work and practice so they can deal with remains, right? And uh, I'm gonna make sure I clean all the meat off of them according to my daughter, she didn't have any meat left on her, no flesh or anything like that. So we want them to get good practice on remain removal. And uh, I hope they don't really put the county corner out of business because they were about the only honest people in my daughter's case seeking justice and help us out by telling us the truth. So when I get through there, they going in one of these beautiful boxes that we gonna hand gift wrap to Baca Melatonin for Christmas. So how you how you clean off the chicken bone? Can you show me how that's done? Well, you know, you break it down. You know. And, you know, you take your time with it. Oh, here's a bone right here. That's a box. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna teach him, if you're gonna get into the remain, remain of, removal of remain business, you're gonna have plenty of practice to do so. All right? Me, personally, I feel like one of them sheriffs, the one that got mad at her, did something foul to her and, and send her on her way. But at the same time, he sent her on her way. He probably like, well, let me go follow her and see where she going and did some super foul because it don't make sense. They found her body right here, but her clothes was like, what, a mile away? Come on now. Any rocket science to know what went on, I foul play point back point period. And, and Sheriff Lee Baca, he should be ashamed of himself. He knows something foul. And then how he did with the bones? Come on now, that's super foul. Super foul. If it had been anywhere, there's nowhere in the book that they let ladies out at 1.30 a.m. according to him. Guys, they said, because we feel like we're a little stronger, but a female, come on now. That's foul, that whole story is foul. He covering up because he know all the heat is going to fall on him. So he trying to cover his tracks up right now because he know people are serious and people are standing up and people are not going for it.
honestly, I feel like the sheriff has something to do with um, my Teresa's murder. It's a cover-up. There's too many fishy things coming out of this story. The simple fact they let her out in the middle of the night is the first start of the whole thing. Then the fact that she went missing, they didn't go look for her right after she went missing. They never tried to look for her. They covered up, telling us way back months ago that we were, may never know what happened to my trees. And Lee Baca has tried his best to make everything seem like it's okay right along with the Jenico or whatever that man's name is from the Independent Review. And it's basically the sheriff did it. Either they did it or they know who did it. They know that they're negligent in how they handled her that night. They know they're negligent in the whole way that they knew something was going on with my tree. And honestly speaking, one of those officers probably let her out and then followed her after he got off his ship and did something to, her, to my trees. Because the mural that they found out there, there's too many signs that lead to foul play. They tried to distract us with Las Vegas. It just, there's just too much going on. The sheriff just looked like a guilty uh, party in this whole scenario. They murdered my trees. I sit alone in my four cornered room, staring at candles. Who got me? Real radio, dude? Yeah. Oh, alright. We'll keep this here. Headlight, I can't sleep. I toss and turn. Candle sticks in the dark, visions of bodies being burned. Four walls closing in, getting bigger. I'm paranoid, sleeping with my finger on the trigger. My mother's always stressing I ain't living right. But I ain't going out without a fight. Man, the community wants justice. Here it is, the number one Louisiana spot in California. I don't care if you go to the one on Washington, I don't care if you go to the one on Willowbrook. This one right here is cracking all day, every day. Fresh, fresh, all the time. And to contribute to the Bring My Trees Justice Foundation, a bag of ball to send to that overpaid sheriff over there on Ramon Street, Bag of bones for Christmas. They want justice. I like that, man. Community supporting the community. That's all right. We're going to get you. Hey, my tree. We're going to get you, man. We, man, we're going to find out who did this.